unfortunate turn of events, uh, the ST Daily has learned that longtime KYLD, I guess it's Wild, radio, wild. a radio station called Wild out there in San Francisco. Hey, Wild. You ever do the Wild show out there in ah, San Francisco, man, Jimmy? Too much craziness happening there. Yeah. This what is, is that? This is the first problem. If you're going to call your radio station Wild, you should let your jocks get a bit wild. Yeah. <laughs> Right? We get, wait till you hear what they got fired for. All uh, right. Uh, Not quite wild. Oh, and it's the PD that got fired. PD Jazzy Jim Archer and night jock Joe Breezy were terminated late yesterday over what was supposed to have been a wacky April Fool's bit that offered up as a prize free breasts from, from a certain Dr. Sanders. So they're doing a contest. Oh, brother. You know, we're going to give away uh, a pair of uh, breasts from Dr. Sanders. Dr. Sanders? On April Fool's. Uh-huh. Some dummy bought into this, by the way. Turns out the breasts in question were actually chicken breasts from KFC. Get it, Dr. Sanders? It was Colonel Sanders. Well, they had a... Is it doctor, too? Uh, well, yeah. But... Nobody would want their bosoms fixed by Colonel Sanders. Of course not. With the chicken man? I don't want him to touch them. <laughs> Frank Perdue is doing a... a, 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 a... <laughs> oh! Nice for oh. love. I was trying to get out uh, a vagioplast. I just didn't know if that was the word. Vagioplast. Yeah, hey, you, know, you know how they fix the vagina. <laughs> sure. I don't know if that's what it's called either. Probably not. I should have the, the same hell? operation on my mouth. It's probably it's not working. <laughs> I think it's pretty close to what Jimmy said, though. Oh. Turns out the breasts, yeah, we're chicken breasts from KFC. Get it. Everyone laughed except the winner. So the the winner gets pissed Gosh. off. You. You were the, you were the joke. Sorry. Yeah. You were the joke for April Fools. April we, Fools. You're the joke. We did this type of thing many times in our career. Deal with it. We did the old hundred grand giveaway. Yep. Rocco back in the day gave away a toy Yoda. Toy Yoda. Remember that dumb thing? It's a toy of Yoda. <laughs> well, you didn't know that. You really thought you were winning a Toyota. Yeah. But how he said toy Yoda. That happened to uh, some manager over at Hooters also. He had had a contest that if the girls, uh, whichever one sells the most, I think, uh, would win a Toyota. And they wound up giving her a toy of little, little character Yoda. And uh, she was very upset and sued. I believe she won. Uh, you can't do that Toyota gag. Because the, the intent is to make someone think they're winning a car. And it's like, yes. Well, we all speak the same language. We get what the intent is. Misconception. Well, this uh, winner was very mad that she didn't actually get her boob job and that she got, you know, uh, chicken breast from KFC. Uh, let's see. Except the winner. She was, all right, she was mad. Who was apparently laboring under the illusion she was getting some other kind of breast. Okay. ST Daily learned that two weeks, two weeks after accepting her chicken, along with... The station made good on this oh, whole okay. thing. Along with front row Kane, uh, Kanye, sorry, Kanye West tickets, five hundred dollars in Victoria's Secret certificates, and backstage passes to the station's annual Wild Jam concert. Wow! And a bunch of padded bras. <laughs> <laughs> Among other door prizes, so they knew she was mad. So the station turned around and did the right thing. Like, look, yeah, hooked you, her up. Well, yeah, this was a big gag. Sorry that it had to be on you, but mm. here's a lot of great stuff. Enjoy. That wasn't good enough for this bitch. Uh, the woman's lawyer filed a lawsuit against the station, and now the ultimate price has been paid. They fired Jazzy, and they fired Breezy over this dumb, dumb radio thing. Why would they this, fire them? This who-gives-a-crap radio stunt they did. That doesn't seem like a firing offense. Well, again, yeah, it's just another thing in our culture. You, you, something like that. Like The woman couldn't just go, all right, that does suck, but I get it. Yeah. She had to go, I want them fired. Because once again, somebody does anything you don't like, you have to have them removed. Yep. If you're offended, you want the people removed. Because we're just a nation of little sissies and hall monitors. Yeah. Well, it's in our intro. Why, when did radio become nice? Yeah, it has to be. Now it has to be nice. we got to be so nice no, to we everybody. we got to beat up some of you guys so everyone else laughs. That's, yeah. just, that's our jobs. Few of you out there are there so the rest of us can laugh at you. That's right. That's uh, just deal with it. That's uh, that's the secret of success. As and far some as radio days, shows go. some days you get to laugh at other people. Mm -hmm. See, it's just laughing at people for how stupid they are. So another radio show bites the dust for something that is uh, a non-reason.
They should uh, rename their station Mild. They're doing Mild. I get it. They're doing mild programming. There's nothing wild about Wild ninety four point nine. Not at all. In San Francisco.